Hi, I'm Charlene Chamberlain from Front Row, and I'm here with Amelia and Mike Messonino, and they are the host of Bomber Jam 2. is a fundraiser that we do every year. Um, the Race for Hope occurs in Philadelphia, um, raising money for the National Brain Tumor Society. We have very close friends who have a son that has an inoperable brain tumor, so that's why we have taken up this cause. Local musicians come out from all over the local area to participate in this cause. We probably have about a hundred musicians here today. A hundred musicians? Yeah. yeah. And How, that's pretty amazing. How many did you have? when you did the first bomber jam? Uh, last year I think we topped out at 75. Uh, what we do is we do a lot of open mics in the area. I play with, I'm a bass player, so I always okay. play with six or seven different bands at any one time. So I have a lot of friends and I put the call out and said, let's, uh, you know, let's let's make some money. And let's, it's a, great, it's a great call, it's like we said, it's our neighbor. We've done it for, I think five years now, we've done the Race for Hope. So it's been really great to be able to raise substantial money for brain tumor research. I think it's really wonderful that the music the music community can come together and do something like this. Yeah, yeah, it's been really strong. I mean, and there's been no uh, there's been no kind of pushback on donating or you know, it's very generous. You know, yeah, yeah, there's been no problems with raffle tickets. Right. Everyone's been very giving of their time. Uh, we, we've had a tremendous turnout. I'm really excited for yeah. uh, how much. The how much numbers. did you raise the first year that you did this? First year we raised just shy of $800, and That's nice. this year we hope to triple it. Wow! Yeah, That's yeah. Wonderful. yeah, yeah. We increased the uh, the asking donation price, and we added a raffle this year. Uh, okay. Many fine businesses were uh, generous enough to give us gift certificates, so uh, we're, we're very happy to uh, to have them in our in our life. That's great. So it's been great. Well, it looks pretty full in your backyard, so yeah. what are you going to do next year? Uh, next year, it's probably not going to be able to even be in our backyard. We it's, may have to change the yeah. venue because it's getting bigger and bigger every year and the support is growing. We would love to keep it here, and if we can, we will, but if we have to change venues for a bigger location, we may have to do that. Thankfully, that, our, our neighbors are very into it also. I mean, obviously, one of our neighbors is the reason that we have uh, the Race for yes. Hope, uh, but all the other neighbors are very... Uh, very active in supporting the cause also so we don't have the kind of uh, problems with uh, noise complaints that some people might have. That's really good considering <laughs> yeah. what you're doing and what I can hear yeah, behind yeah. me right now. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to go for another few hours. Exactly yet. we yeah, go till about totally. 10 o'clock yeah. or later. And so. it is a Sunday. Absolutely. Sure it's a Sunday yeah. and we did yeah. that on purpose we made it a Sunday because most musicians work Fridays, Fridays and Saturdays. Saturdays. That's right. Uh, a lot of musicians work Sundays in the summer so we made sure to wait until after the summer was over so that we could have this kind of end of the summer celebration of, of, of life and, and music. It's great. And I think, you know, a lot of musicians, since they're always gigging, don't get to see other musicians yeah, or great. play with them or even visit with them. That's true, so yeah. This yeah. kind of brings the whole community together. Yeah, and, and myself as a bass player, I only ever see other bass players when something like this happens or they need a bass player. or somebody dies <laughs> yeah. and, I don't, and I don't want to wait until anyone else dies no. so so it's been really nice for us to be able to get together it's been a great networking event mm -hmm. uh, last year was perfect for that I mean we wanted to take people from the original scene and then have them meet with people who have been playing covers for 30 years yes. and then have them meet people who play mm -hmm. uh, originals but on the different circuit like the young guys you know there's a lot of young people back sure. there and uh, it's just kind of keeping the community vibrant and uh, well fresh. connected, yeah, fresh, mm -hmm. always injecting new blood into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally, it's been great. It really has been great in that sense. Anything else you'd like to tell us about Bomber Jam? Um, future plans? Uh, future plans <laughs> to get bigger, better, raise more money. And I just have to say a heartfelt thank you to the local music scene for coming out and um, answering our call for help. They are impressive, it's a tight-knit community, and um, if you're not a part of it, 
people should come out and be a you part of it. You need to be a part of it. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. It's very impressive. Listeners, you need to watch for this next Absolutely. year. Absolutely. You do. And Absolutely. here comes Eddie's bus. And here oh, comes right around the bus. Rock and Road Grill right now. Yep. Go, go to the cones. Do you want to go to the cones? <laughs> They're rocking, they're on the road, and they're grilling. I'm here with Eddie Berner, former lead guitarist of the 80s new wave band, Flock of Seagulls, and his Rock and Road Grill. Eddie, awesome. what is the Rock and Road Grill? Okay. Rock and Road Grill is a TV show. And what we're doing is, I travel across the country with my two girlfriends, my insane English bus driver, and we pull up to uh, House of Blues in New Orleans. I grab Billy Idol out of his dressing room, throw him on my bus, we'll talk about touring, women, music, touring, women, and ultimately I find out what their, uh, what his favorite food is, and then I'll cook it for him. And ultimately, at the end of the show, I get to perform with whatever band it is. So, that's what we do. So, where have you been with the RV? Uh, we've done a bunch of different uh, minor events, uh, a couple hundred people. Uh, where I bring my full band, cook for a couple hundred people, whatever they want to eat, that kind of thing. Uh, we also do limousine services. We also do private cooking classes. To so say if 20 women want to learn how to make sushi, I'll get them on the bus, load them up with sake, cook them some food, have a party. I teach them how to make sushi, I teach them whatever. I mean, I do every kind of food possible. So anything people want to learn, I can teach them. So when did you discover this passion for cooking food? Uh, when I was 11. What happened when you were 11? I got hungry one day and I wanted to make something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had um, family and friends that had people that had restaurants. And it was about that time in my young age to get a job of some sort. So I got a job as a, as a pizza cook. I got to flip pizzas. Right. And that was my first job. And I loved it. So. Between that and the music yeah. side, I love music, I love playing guitar, I love singing, keyboards, bass, everything. Um, I, I'm trying to combine all of my loves into a career. Well, I think you're doing a fine job and I Thank heard you. a rumor that several of the networks are possibly courting you for a reality TV show. More than several. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> many wonderful. More, many more than several. I can't wait to see what happens. I think it would be a fantastic reality. Well, thank you very much. I think we're I think we're gonna we're gonna do really well. Obviously, this is my business as well as potentially a television show, which people are going crazy when I tell them the idea. So yeah, it's a great. I think we're gonna do it. Fantastic. Was it your idea? It's a great idea. I do have one burning question. Sure. Does the Rock and Road Grill have a, sig a signature dish? Our specialty? No. Do Every, you? Everything is a specialty. Yeah. Do you have a um, dish I'm, you like I'm a big prepare? seafood person, so I love doing sushi. I love doing anything that involves seafood. I don't eat. I hardly eat any red meat, so I, I kind of keep it towards the fish side, that kind of thing. Um, but we, you know, anything anybody wants us to do, I can create it as far as food wise. I just, you know, I've worked in French restaurants, Italian restaurants, German restaurants. Uh, Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants, so I got the capability to do it. I'll be the Does the Rock and Road Grill have a Facebook or a fan page? How can our listeners find you? Yes, uh, if you go on to Facebook, Rock and Road Grill, all one word. Uh, and if for some reason, if you can't catch that, go to Eddie Burner on Facebook, and that'll give you a link to Rock and Road Grill. Anything else you'd like to tell us about the RV? Can we go inside and have a look? Absolutely. Let's take, Let's take the tour. Hey, welcome to my house. What I do, I, I bring celebrities on. We sit here and cook. We sit here and eat, drink. I cook out of my little spot right here. I can pretty much do anything from here. Uh, I do a lot of sushi, uh, all kinds of fish dishes, stuff like that. Anything the artists that I'm doing stuff with, whatever they want, I do. They put their requests in and then yeah. you prepare it. Yeah, and then ultimately at the end of the show, I get them performing. Mm -hmm. Come on, in the back here. We also use this as a uh, as a limousine service for the business side of everything. I can fit uh, 12 people back here and another 16 people up front throughout. So if you have a bunch of people who want to um, 
travel down to you know Atlantic City, mm -hmm. and get sure. drunk and have a good time. Absolutely, well, not get worry about anything. Safe and sound. Um, and and will you cook for them while you're while they're traveling? Uh, if if they'd like me to, um, okay. but if they're going out to DC, they're not. Right. Gonna. But we also do a lot of tailgating parties. Mm -hmm. I'll take I'll, we'll take twenty people down to, to like the Eagles game. Um, I get out, pull the grills out, start cooking, and then if they want music, I bring my band as well. So that's what we do. It's great with all that. It's very rock and roll in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> That's it. Little, little, Las Vegas, right? little yeah, that's right. Little touches of this right here and there. So Eddie, where's your next stop? Uh I'm trying to think. My next stop is with uh, Food and Wine magazine. We're doing an event um, at the Valley Forge Casino. Oh, that should be very nice. And I par me. I've partnered up with um, <laughs> Chef Terry French. Who is the winner of Extreme Chef, where they mm -hmm. dump you off in the jungle? Right. He and I somehow knocked it out of the park last week down in Asbury Park. We did a big oyster festival. So I heard he's, about that. So he's going to bring me out, do a bunch of food demos. I'm going to have my band play two nights. I'm going to have my band play for all the all the stars and celebrities. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we're going to do some tag team food competition stuff. Um, and then we have another episode where we're going to go out and do some uh, bluefin tuna fishing. And then, uh, you ever hear the show Jersey Delicious? Yes. Jersey mm -hmm. little, little, little. Absolutely. They're going to do a little cameo appearance with me on there next oh, month. Great. So it could That's be interesting. Wonderful. They'll probably have me go in looking like a dork and come out looking <laughs> like I do. Then I don't have to do anything, <laughs> anything differently. Right. <laughs> I've looked the same way all my life, so I'm not really going to change anything at this point. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Very nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. Nice to meet you. And we'll look forward to that reality show. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, guys. Rock and Roll Girls signing out. Let's go take care of this event. All right, let's go. to be on the Rock and Road Grill RV. And I'm here with a singer-songwriter, Shane. Say hi, Shane. Hi, everyone. Have and a I'm great time. Great. And this is John Killian, the executive producer yes. of Rock and Road Grill. As executive producer, what exactly do you do? Oh, my God. Uh, just a couple things. <laughs> I uh, had a lot to do with uh, acquiring this uh, vehicle and hiring the uh, interior decorator to uh, pimp it out. So one of the salespeople came over with this book, and it was this wallpaper, and they put it in front of me and said, that's what do you think it. of this? I said, stop! <laughs> that's <laughs> like, it, right? That's it. We got it. We got it. That's right. it. That's it. So it like totally hit us like, whoa, this is it, you know? And, and believe me, everybody that's coming in this rock and roll grill says that, that, that wallpaper is like killer. I mean, it, it really just, it, it, it sends a message. You know when when we did the, when we designed the outside look the, the logo which the you see on the out that's fantastic okay so that's really so great. that was done on the back of a paper plate in Ott's Tavern in Delray, New oh, Jersey my gosh. okay with Billy Terrell our business of partner of course I know Billy and mm -hmm. and Eddie and I and we were mm -hmm. standing there and Eddie said something like hey let me show you what I'm thinking and he took a pen and he started drawing something out. And he had a guitar. He says, "Why don't we do the guitar as a G clef mm -hmm. in music G clef?" Sure. Yeah. And then uh, Billy says, "Oh, let me have that." He says, "What if we do this?" And he started drawing. And then I said, "What do you? What if we make the road? Make that G clef a road? Mm -hmm. You know? Right? And put a you know a lane, you know a, a yellow line down the middle, so it looks like a road. Right? Because we're it's the rock and road, road grill, not the rock and roll Whoa. grill." It's a rock and road grill, and we're on the road. Right. So we all collaborate on this thing, and it was, and 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 we looked at it and we're like, holy crap, that is fantastic. And Billy Terrell says, that's great, and and he throws the thing in the trash. And I said, what? I said, Billy, Billy, 
Are you gonna remember what we did? He said, Don't worry about it, I got it up here. So but I, I like to kill Billy for throwing that paper plate out. But, <laughs> but he remembered, so that's but, a good thing. So like, what, what, hey, do what's a response when you guys pull into an event? Oh my God! In the RV, what yeah. happens? Well, people just go crazy when they. Yeah, see pr it? pretty, pretty much. I mean, people like, okay, what what's are you guys all about? Yeah. You, it's right. like, tell me what you guys are all about. So then you know we explain you know, what we're all about. You know. Um, that's pretty much what it is. It, it's it's a uh, it's a surprise, and people are like, you know, they're like very curious about what the heck are we? Are we a business? You know, what do we do? We uh, lot, most people think that we're most people think that we're a a, a, a company that cooks, that right. we're a grill, because right. rock and roll grill, right? right? Not so the they, they no, they don't no. they don't think that they no, think you know, we're just grill. grill. Right. They the focus thing. on the food <laughs> aspect of it, right. so they think that we're, you know, that we. What do you do? Oh, do you guys like grill hamburgers and hot dogs? <laughs> so no, we do a little bit more than that. You know, here's what we can do. You know, if you want to hire us as a as a business, you know, we can transport you. You we can show up and we can cook for you, anything from hot dogs and hamburgers to macadamia crusted salmon you know because eddie's eddie will cook he that for you food. it's like well he's yeah. he's a master chef and then we can show up also with you know with a band and right. play three sets of music so if you want the whole deal you know we can transport you we can feed you and we can entertain you but we we get people that just hire us to transport them we get people just to hire us to do two of the three right. but if you want the whole suite it's transportation Food and music. Right. You know? Well, it sounds like a great combination. What do you think, Shane? I think I need you. <laughs> I think we all need you, and we can't <laughs> wait for the next stop of the Rock and Road Grill. Thank you so much, John Thank and you, Shane, Thank for you. speaking with me today. Thank this you, is Shane. Charlene Chamberlain for Front Row. Hey,